Hello, I'm Dr. Anupanandi, consultant gynecologist and fertility specialist working in London. Today we'll be talking about luteal phase defect, a frequently asked question but not clearly understood. Let's find out what is luteal phase defect and why is it important. One menstrual cycle is the time between two periods. In a woman who has regular periods, this is about 28 days. It can vary between two to five days and which is absolutely normal. In the first two weeks, the follicle gradually grows and leads to ovulation. Following ovulation, the next two weeks till the period is called the luteal phase. After ovulation, the ruptured follicle changes into corpus luteum, which produces a hormone called progesterone. Progesterone prepares the uterus for implantation and pregnancy. If there is no pregnancy, then corpus luteum regresses and progesterone level falls. Since progesterone supports the lining of the uterus, as the list level falls, the lining is shed and menstrual bleeding starts. If there is pregnancy, then the pregnancy hormone maintains the corpus luteum up to seven to nine weeks of pregnancy when the placenta takes over. Successful implantation and pregnancy largely depends on proper function of corpus luteum and the progesterone level. Defective corpus luteum will not be able to support the pregnancy and hence luteal phase is very important. The luteal phase is considered to be defective or deficient when the corpus luteum is not functioning well and the progesterone level is not adequate to support pregnancy. However, this is highly controversial and the association of luteal phase defect with infertility is not fully established. This is because, apart from progesterone, there are various other factors that is responsible for proper implantation and pregnancy. Luteal phase defect is a subtle kind of ovulatory defect. Defective ovulation leads to defective corpus luteum and hence luteal phase defect. Various conditions like excessive exercise, severe stress, anorexia, eating disorders can lead to hormonal imbalance by suppressing the gland called hypothalamus in the brain, which can lead to ovulatory disorders. Other conditions like thyroid disorders, prolactin disorders, lifestyle factors like obesity, smoking are also linked to luteal phase defect. It is more often seen in elderly women with hormonal disbalance. There is no specific symptom for luteal phase defect. Many women complain of having spotting before the periods. Some complain of short luteal phase, like having period within a week after ovulation. However, this can happen randomly one or two months, even in a normal woman. If it happens persistently every month, then it can indicate luteal phase defect. There is no specific test available to diagnose luteal phase defect. One way to diagnose it could be doing serial ultrasound scan throughout your menstrual cycle See when you are ovulating and having your period. If you are having period in less than 8 days after ovulation, that is a short luteal phase. You can check your ovulation using ovulation kit test. There are various ovulation kit tests available in the market. They test your LH surge, that means the hormone that causes the ovulation. If you have a positive ovulation kit test, that indicates that you are going to ovulate in next 24 to 36 hours. If you do have a period within 10 days, then that is a short luteal phase. Again, I must reiterate that this can happen even in a normal woman, randomly one or two months, and that is perfectly normal. If it happens persistently in every month, then it can indicate luteal phase defect. One commonly used method is checking progesterone level in the luteal phase. But this is not a very reliable way of checking luteal phase defect. This is because progesterone is secreted in a pulsatile fashion. 
and the levels can vary between days and also between cycles. So you cannot rely on the level of the progesterone. Also, it is not known what level of progesterone is low for pregnancy. There is no minimum fertile level for the progesterone. And hence, progesterone should not be used to diagnose luteal phase defect on its own. Some suggest doing DNA biopsy of the endometrium, or in other words, doing a DNC to diagnose luteal phase defect. However, there are researchers which have shown that this is also not a reliable way to diagnose luteal phase defect. If you're having short luteal phase or spotting before your period persistently in every month, you should see a specialist. If you are having difficulty in conceiving, then other factors responsible for delaying conception should also be taken into account. The first step would be to correct your lifestyle measures, like stop smoking, do exercise if you are overweight, if you are doing excessive exercise and have a low BMI less than 18, then cut down on the amount of exercise you are doing. If you have thyroid or prolactin disorders, see your endocrine specialist to get that corrected. Since luteal phase defect is an ovulatory defect, the treatment option could be to correct the ovulation using ovulation-inducing drugs like clomiphene or letrozole. These drugs should not be taken on your own. It should only be taken under medical supervision and under ultrasound guidance as there are risk of multiple pregnancy. Taking progesterone supplements on its own is not a good way to treat luteal phase defect. Since luteal phase defect is a subtle ovulatory disorder, the aim should be to correct the ovulation, which will automatically improve the function of the corpus luteum. So to summarize, luteal phase defect is subtle ovulatory defect which could be contributed by various conditions like excessive exercise, smoking, obesity, severe stress, thyroid disorders, prolactin disorders, and there is no reliable test to diagnose luteal phase defect. If you have persistent short luteal phase, less than eight to 10 days, or spotting before your period persistently in every cycle, and that could be indicative of luteal phase defect. Since it is subtle ovulatory disorder, the aim should be to correct the ovulation with ovulation-inducing drugs like clomiphene or letrozole. Taking progesterone only in the luteal phase is not going to correct the luteal phase defect. However, you should always take medications under medical supervision. Thank you for listening. I hope it was useful. If you have any particular topic that you would like to know more about, please put it down in the comment box and I will come back with a video. Thanks.